हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर राजेंद्र कोरंदे फ्रॉम माय यूट्यूब चैनल टीच इजी इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट सम एम सिक्यूज ऑन आर सी सी दैट इज सिंगली रिन फोर्स सेक्शंस द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ इट ऑफ सब्जेक्ट डिजाइन ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर सो लेट अस स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन द मेथड ऑफ डिजाइन विच इनकॉर्पोरेट्स the requirements obtained from probability considerations is a working stress method b limit state method c ultimate load theory d plastic theory now this is nothing but the basic meaning of limit state method in which all the requirements are obtained from probability considerations hence the correct answer is b limit state method question number 2 the partial safety factor for material strength for concrete is a 1.15 b 1.5 c 1 and d none of the above partial factor of safety for concrete we know that it is 1.5 hence the correct answer is b 1.5 question number 3 the partial factor of safety for material strength for steel is a 1.15 b 1.5 c 1 and d none of the above for steel the partial factor of safety is less than that of concrete because of the greater reliability in production quality and hence it is 1.15 the correct answer is a 1.15 question number 4 the ultimate strain in steel reinforcement of an under reinforced section is a greater than 0.002 plus 0.87 fy upon es b less than 0.002 plus 0.87 fy upon es c is equal to 0.002 plus 0.87 fy upon es and d none of the above now we know that ultimate strain in steel shall not be less than 0.002 plus 0.87 fy upon es now for under reinforced sections as the strain in steel reaches earlier the strain in that is greater than uh, that particular value that is 0.002 plus 0.87 fy upon es hence the correct answer is a greater than 0.002 plus 0.87 fy upon es question number 5 the ultimate strain in steel reinforcement of an over reinforced section is a greater than 0.002 plus 0.87 fy upon es b less than 0.002 plus 0.87 fy upon es c is equal to 0.002 plus 0.87 fy upon es and d none of the above now for over reinforced section as concrete reaches it ultimate strain first here the strain in steel is less than 0.002 plus 0.87 fy upon es hence the collapse is a sudden collapse without giving any intimation the correct answer of this question is b less than 0.002 plus 0.87 fy upon es question number 6 the ultimate strain in steel reinforcement of a balance section is a greater than 0.002 plus 0.87 fy upon es b less than 0.002 plus 0.87 fy upon es c is equal to 0.002 plus 0.87 fy upon es and d none of the above now for a balance section as the proportions of concrete and steel are such that both of them reach their ultimate strengths simultaneously in this case the ultimate strain in steel is equal to 0.002 plus 0.87 fy upon es hence the correct answer is c equal to 0.002 plus 0.87 fy upon es question number 7 the collapse of an under reinforced section is a brittle b ductile c sudden and d none of the above as you know that in under reinforced sections the steel reaches its ultimate strength first hence steel being ductile 
cracks are developed deflection is observed which gives the early intimation of the impending failure and the particular collapse is of ductile nature hence the correct answer of this question is b ductile question number 8 the collapse of an over reinforced section is a brittle b ductile c sudden d none of the above for over reinforced section concrete reaches its ultimate strength first hence it suddenly fails without giving any early intimation of failure hence the answer of this particular question is c sudden question number 9 which of the following section is not permitted by is 456 a balance section b or under reinforced section c over reinforced section and d none of the above in the previous question we saw that the collapse of an over reinforced section is sudden and without giving any early intimation hence is does not permit such type of section hence the correct answer is c over reinforced sections question number 10 the ultimate strain in steel for a 500 is a 0.00417 b 0.00308 c 0.00380 d 0.00300 now for this we know that the formula is ultimate strain in steel is equal to 0.002 plus 0.87 fy upon es you have to just go on substituting the value of fy and if you put the value of fy as 500 you will get the answer as 0.00417 from this question you can make two more question for a 415 and a 250 for a 250 it is 0.00308 for a 415 it is 0.00380 for a 500 it is 0.00417 so similar question can be asked only the grade of steel can be changed for this particular question the answer is a 0.00417 question number 11 for a beam of effective depth d mm reinforced with fe250 the critical neutral axis is at a distance of dash 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 from top a 0.46 d mm b 0.53 d mm c 0.40 d mm and d 0.48 d mm we know that by the similar triangle theory from strain diagram we can find out the position of critical neutral axis and for a fe250 we know that its value is 0.53 d that is b 0.53 d now from this question if you change the grade of concrete to fe415 and fe500 two more questions will be there only one question i have taken two more questions can be studied by the student itself for this particular question the answer is b 0.53 d mm question number 12 for a beam of effective depth 400 mm reinforced with fe 450 the critical neutral axis is at a distance of dash 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 from the top a 192 mm b 212 mm c 184 mm and d 180 mm now in the previous question we saw that for fe415 the critical neutral axis is at a distance of 0.48 d from the top put the value of d as 400 mm you will get the answer as 192 mm and similar question can be asked with different grades of steels and different depths okay so correct answer of this is a 192 mm question number 13 the design compressive strength of concrete of grade m20 is a 13.4 newton per mm square b 9 newton per mm square c 20 newton per mm square and d any other value from limit state method for concrete the characteristic compressive strength is fck now from fck due to dimensional effect 66% is taken and that is nominal strength and when we apply the partial factor of safety that is when that 0.66 is divided by 1.5 
we get it as 0.446 fck so you can say that 0.45 fck which is the design compressive strength if fck is put as 20 so 0.45 into 20 the correct answer is 9 newton per mm square this question can be repeated by changing the grade of concrete number of questions can be prepared like this for the correct uh, current question the answer is b 9 newton per mm square question number 14 the design yield strength of steel of grade fe250 is dash 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 a 361.05 newton per mm square b 217.5 newton per mm square c 435 newton per mm square and d 250 newton per mm square now in this question if fy is the characteristic yield strength fy divided by partial factor of safety that is 1.15 1 upon 1.15 comes as 0.87 fy and 0.87 fy is the design yield strength of steel put the value of fy as per the grade of steel given and you will get the answer so this question can be re repeated by changing the grade of steel for this current question Putting value of FY as 250, the correct answer is B, 217.5 Newton per mm square. Question number 15. The ultimate, limiting ultimate movement of resistance for FE415 is A, 0.113 FCK BD square Newton mm, B, 0.130 FCK BD square Newton mm, C, 0.149 FCK BD square Newton mm and D 0.138 FCK BD square Newton mm. Now we know that MR factor is 0 0.1 point something FCK BD square. Now depending upon the grade of steel it differs. So this question can be changed by changing the grade of steel. In this present question the grade of steel given is 415 and for fe 415 the limiting ultimate moment of resistance is 0.138 fck bd square newton mm hence the correct answer is d 0.138 fck bd square newton mm now we will continue the questions in next part thank you